Google is giving away meat free to everyone. And if you're thinking, no thanks, I'm vegan, then stick around because you have no clue what Google Meat is. Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Joseph, and if this is your first time here, welcome. If you love tech or just want to know more about technology that you can actually use, please consider subscribing. I make tech how-to tips and tricks videos for home and office. For those of you that are recently subscribed, I'd just like to say thank you and welcome to the Tech Tribe. Last month, Google announced that it'll make its video conferencing platform free for all Gmail users. So if you have a Gmail account, when you sign in, you'll find a new section labeled Meet. From there, you can start a meeting or join a meeting. Now, Google Meet is not new software. It's always been available, but for a price. You used to have to be a paid member of Google's G Suite to have access to it. But since the explosion of online conferencing and all the big boys watching Zoom dance all over the opportunity, becoming the most popular video conferencing app by far, Google has decided to get in on some of that action. Okay, so why now? Why should you use Google Meet? Well, the main thing is convenience. It's right there. When you log into Gmail, you don't have to go looking for another app or sign up anywhere else. It's just there, just waiting. Please use me. Then there's the safety aspect. Meet has the same protection that Google uses to secure your information and safeguard your privacy every day. Their video conferences are encrypted on the fly and has a bunch of safety measures that are continuously being updated for more protection. You can connect just using your web browser, no need to install software, or you can connect using the Google Meet app available in your phone's app, app store. One of the most powerful features and the one that sets Meet above the rest is its live captions. Meetings are transcribed and hearing impaired persons can follow along and still be an active part of the conversation. The captioning works very fast and is pretty efficient. I did find, however, that it cannot detect ums and ahs. Yeah, so if you're someone that speaks with a lot of ums and ahs, then you will find it misses out a lot and has a bit trouble with translations. For those that want to use it for classes and teaching scenarios, you can schedule reoccurring meetings and you can also record those meetings for later reference. Screen sharing is also available to share documents and presentations. I mean, this thing is packed with features that are truly impressive. Now, there are some differences between the paid version and the free version. Let's take a look at some of the important differences. With the paid versions, your meeting length can be up to 300 hours. Not sure why you would need a 300 hour meeting, but you have it if you need it. Now, with the free version, they cut that back 299 hours. So yeah, you get one hour. That's still better than the other guys, however. Due to lockdowns, Google has given an extra 23 hours until September 30th. So until then, your meeting length can go for up to 24 hours. The amount of people that can join your free meetings is 100, which is a lot. But if 100 is not enough and you need more, you can go up to 250 with the paid version. You can get captions and all that good stuff with the free version, but something that you don't get is meeting recordings for free. That's only available with the paid version, which sucks, but that might just be me being greedy because the free version is pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments if you'll be switching to Google Meet with your next free meeting for family or friends or students. At the very least, you can try it out. And when you do try it out, let me know in the comments what your experience was. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, peace.